Cervical cancer is the very first cancer we've been able to successfully screen for, screening meaning looking for signs of this cancer before it actually develops. Um, this cancer actually has a fairly long phase before it becomes malignant that can be interrupted and treated quite easily in most situations. And so screening for cervical cancer has been the most ex successful example of screening for cancer there's ever been. And so the example there was obviously what we call the pap smear, which is incredibly important and remains very important today. There are some recent changes in pap smear screening that are a little bit confusing, but really very straightforward and really cervical cancer screening from age 21 on and all women is certainly advised now. In many situations, we do stop screening over the age of 65 or 70. That's a different issue, but really the key is having some knowledge and, and awareness of your own body, being aware of anything that changes, but also going for routine screening, a routine evaluation for women from all their childbearing years up until their, their many, many years later, just to keep an eye on this. Then HPV is the virus that is the apparent cause for nearly all cancers of cervical cancer. And there is a vaccine that can be used against this virus that's actually remarkably effective. It takes two or three shots, um, usually given earlier rather than later. If you wait too late, they're not very effective, but uh, particularly getting them in their teenage years, remarkably effective at later preventing cervical cancer. Uh, cervical cancer is extremely treatable in the early phases, and if you find it on a screening test, it's almost always very, very easily curable. So uh, it is a very uh, confusing pattern of new pap smear changes, but nothing that's really too difficult at this point in time.